Hi guys, welcome to Football Brownie. Hope you're all well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe, doing this pandemic and spreading the love because we all need a bit of love in, especially as Cardiff fans at the moment. It hasn't happened, has it? It hasn't happened. Basically, instead of sacking him, the Cardiff City board, giving you a house of all the confidence. The spineless fucks. This is a guy who's now producing constant bad form. And with a January clock ticking, I'm really starting to fear a relegation battle with Harris in charge. His inept game management, team selection and bad tactics is really starting to be similar to the shit days under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And then we look, uh, uh, we look all above him. We look above him. We go into the boardroom and Darman, look at Darman. He wanted, he wanted out just a few months ago, as he and his mates wanted to buy Charlton Athletic. Then you look at owner Vincent Tan, who thought it was a good idea to split the fan base in a massive, massive way by changing the home colours from blue to red. And who was also advising Malky Mackay when he was manager. That goalkeeper, David Marshall, needs to shoot a lot more. This is the, te- this is the people we've got in charge. The thing is, I don't think, I don't think the board realised just how much of a master stroke Neil Warnock had done by taking, let's be honest, a champ, an average championship uh, team at best into the Premier League. Then they thought, okay, Neil's time is up, so let's replace him with a manager who would have been sacked by Millwall had he not took the option to walk away. And they thought to themselves, if Warnock can take this team up, then anyone can. So let's give a guy whose CV just wasn't up to it just because he was out of work at the time, so it was a cheap option. What's the ownership up to? What is the ownership up to? It's all well and good, Dalman going on mainstream media and taking part in pre-scripted interviews, but I'm sick of the amount of times you have said, I want us in the top six come January. Or, we have had, we have had offers from different parties to buy the club, but we turned them down because it wasn't right for the club. Well, what is right for the club? What exactly is right for the club? Relegation? Having a can't be asked or can't be bothered ownership? Tell me. During those same interviews, he then goes on how much the club was losing during the pandemic, which I understand. All clubs are. I understand that. But we are still in receipt of parachute payments, having recently been relegated from the Premier League. So why don't they just reinvest that in order to get us back into the Premier League where the club's losses can be turned in club's profit? I'm sorry, but from the team manager to the boardroom, all we hear is what they say over here in Spain is blah, 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 blah. Or what? It's basically talking bullshit. But don't worry, don't worry, people. We may have a free transfer or two within the next week, week or so, in order to keep us all happy, even though the club's future process seems to be written on the back of a fag packet. And let me tell you, if that's the case, as in evident in the film Mike Bassett, I can see Ron Benson and Tony fucking Edges signing for us. Even though one of them's 46, I'm playing for Plymouth Argyle. (laughs) Oh, fuck me. Fuck me, people. As every football fan knows, it's it's the hope that kills us. It's the hope that kills us. 
it's a hope that kills us. Anyway, I'm going to calm down, otherwise the neighbours will be knocking. <laughs> but please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Please also check out the Football Brownie Facebook page if you're on Facebook. And join the football fan community in which I'm trying to build. It's not just Cardiff City fans, it's all, all fans of all different clubs. Um, and I, I'm sure you love the content uh, which uh, I put on on that uh, on that Facebook page too. Oh, I need to calm down. <laughs> right, next time. Until next time, guys. Hasta luego. Take care.